good YouTube, it's your girl. I'm still Asia, baby. Cause every time I close my eyes, I see you. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, hello, and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Please be sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl. As y'all can tell from that thumbnail today, y'all, I'm doing this reaction to the moment of truth, okay? This is actually a game show. I think they don't air this anymore. Let me explain the rules to y'all. So basically, I guess this is just a game where you gotta be truthful. They give you a lot of text tests and you answer all these questions like before the show, I guess. And so you come on there and they give you like these sec these, these uh, series of questions. So in the first series of questions, you'll have like, five. I'm just naming stuff. I don't know exactly what it is because I'm just going to be skipping through this video, but I'm finna, I'm just explaining how this goes. You do a series of questions that you've answered on a lie detector test. So the first series of questions probably are like easier, lighter questions, but still kind of like, you know, they start getting deeper and deeper as you go further into the questions. So the first series of questions, you win $25,000, okay? So after you answer the first five questions and everything is true and you answer them all correctly, you know, based off of how you gave your answers on the lie detector test, you win that money. So on the next series of questions, you gotta answer, you know, four questions and you get $50,000. And so after you answer all those four questions, you got you get fifty thousand dollars but essentially if your results are not correct when you answer the question you lose everything but at any part of the series so if you, you know if you're in question two or four of whatever series you in if you want to stop you just get what you already got okay and you don't lose anything but you got to keep going through the questions to get to the next tier of money so if that makes any sense i just had to break that down to explain how this goes i'm just trying to figure out with this one y'all this one particularly y'all this i think just tops it all is it for love or is it for money what are we talking about here because y'all about to see what i'm talking about on this one because this had me at the edge of my seat y'all i am almost convinced that this family is done okay toasted okay i don't even know when this came out but it's over this game was designed for you to tell the truth like that but you came on the show to win money so you already knew you was gonna have to tell some you gonna have to tell some stuff okay let's go ahead and get into this video y'all get your popcorn ready and let's go on and get into this video y'all y'all be ready for this okay y'all need to get ready for this i want number 13 lucky number 13 <laughs> I hope so for you. Number 13. Okay, let's go. She done answered 13 questions to this point, y'all. <laughs> Lauren, I know that you've moved recently and you don't have as many friends as you used to have, but do you occasionally like the girls' night out? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's important to have those nights, it right? Is. Question 13. Have you ever taken off your wedding ring to appear as if you were single? <laughs> That's the husband, y'all, that's shaking his head for the record, okay, y'all? Like, look how she looking already. You look like you up to some bush. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, that's a good one. That. Yeah. <laughs> right in the ticker, right there. I tried to warn you. No, it's okay. Um, yes, I have. That answer is... Oh boy. True. Ooh, okay. It's in place now. It's on 13 truthful answers. Nah, forget all of that. It's in place now. No, girl. Like, y'all. Clearly, y'all can see, I'm not really big on wear. Like, I'm married too, but I don't wear my wedding ring because, for one, it, it hits on everything all day long. It turns over. It's too big for my finger. It there There's a lot, you know what I'm saying? And I'm always at home anyway, like, doing the dishes, cleaning, all that kind of stuff. So I just take it off. It's just easier for me to just not have it on because I'm constantly thinking about taking it on, taking it off. I get that part, okay? So I don't have no, I don't have no problems with, with women that don't want to, wear, want to wear their wedding rings. And BJ is the same way. He don't, for the same exact reasons, he's the same way, which I don't have any issues with it either. Granted, we trust each other, y'all. We've been married way too long to be just like on top of each other's heads about that. You know what I mean? We just don't, it's not a big deal to us, okay? To us. But 
I'm just saying when you go to the club though and you just completely just done took off your ring, especially if it's something that you are consistently wearing on a regular, because some people just don't take it off. I mean, the majority of folks probably don't, but I'm just saying, if you taking it off, you are already trying to, you know, let the message be known. You putting yourself out there for that reason, because you want people to think that you want people to talk to you and you know, I know about the club game, y'all. Like, you you try to see if you still got it. You know, you just want to test the waters to see if anybody going to try to holler at you. Like, granted, I get it, girl. I get it. But that's disrespectful as hell, okay? That's disrespectful. He over there smiling, but deep down inside, I know he kind of, like, that kind of pissed him off. I ain't, you know, I'd be pissed. I'm just saying from a person that wears their ring all the time, I would be pissed. For real. Question 14. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? <laughs> Let's see what she say, okay? Cause that's that's kind of a big deal. You see how he he looking at her like now you now you this answer better be no, better be it better be no. So uh, I'll just ask you this before we get into the question: Did you and your husband have a nice honeymoon? <laughs> Frank? Why she make that face though? Like, yeah, 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 it was nice. Was it? Was it really? That <laughs> was nice. Frank? Yeah, you had a good time. You enjoyed it, so. Question 14. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? my cue okay i will be so out girl wait wait what okay hold up look how her mama looking y'all look how her mama looking that's her family over there that's her mama her daddy her sister i think that's it that's over there and her husband but but y'all <laughs> they getting all up in her business okay all up in it y'all that's something that i wouldn't want to know like i would not want to know that like that would just hurt my little heart that would just hurt my little heart y'all I ain't gonna lie. So that's 14 truthful answers. One more, you win $100,000, but I'm sure I'm not the only one watching this program wondering if that $100,000 is worth it given what we're doing. But it's your world, your relationship, your choices. Frank, were you aware that she had those feelings on your wedding day? Uh, no, I knew that she did have feelings for, you know, ex boyfriends and everybody does. I didn't know that she might've been in love with them. Oh, and then she was on love, in love with him, y'all. In love with him? <sighs> love of money, okay? <laughs> I'm convinced that you married this dude for the wrong reasons, okay? All for the wrong reasons. It gotta be something more, especially if she on this show telling all her business like that, y'all. She putting him on blast. She, she putting her family on blast. Like, Y'all gotta see this whole whole little episode. The, the whole thing is 43 minutes, y'all. So you know we ain't got time for that. But dang, okay. I'm ready for number 15. She should have stopped. I would have stopped. <laughs> okay, at 50, wherever she was at, I would have stopped. Cause now if she get anything wrong, if she don't tell the truth, Y'all, she loses everything. She's not going to get anything. Nothing. So all of it was for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you did all of that for nothing. All right. I, um, I don't think you really are ready for number 15, but if you want it, I'm going to give it to you. Okay? You're making this worse than it is. <laughs> I don't think I can make this worse than it is. This is your $100,000 moment of truth. <laughs> and this question will not be asked by me. It's by a surprise guest. 
Oh my God. Lauren, can you tell everybody who this is? Or do I need to do it? I, I can't speak right now, so. This is your ex-boyfriend, Frank. Frank looked like he up to no good, okay? You could tell the boy, the way he was licking his lips, got his tongue all out his mouth, y'all. Like, he looked like he was just ready to, like, you know what I'm saying? Right there, like, hey, <laughs> since you here, while we here together, okay? Looking at us. <laughs> this question is for $100,000 when you're ready. Question 15. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? <laughs> What? See, that's that drama right there. That's that stuff right there that gets you all kind of twisted and all kind of trouble, all kind of things be going on, y'all. That's that's means for divorce right there, right there by itself, okay? Just that question alone is finna get you all twisted and tangled in some stuff you don't want to be a part of. I'm just saying. Would you leave your husband? <laughs> y'all y'all know she oh she don't put the hands up okay she don't put the hands up she like <laughs> really you come on here to ask me that like here the way she looking at frank y'all it just looked like she just you know what i mean like i said it just looked like she, her interest is is somewhere else even though she in a whole nother situation that she can't get out of and now she on here just straight up disrespecting this man on national television like dirty y'all dirty love or money okay that's what they should have called this hold on that question is a devastating question of course you could course. avoid this right now by hitting the button frank yeah. no <laughs> You could have saved that. You could have saved the button, okay? It's going to get worse. Look at this look on her face like, oh, shoot. Like, <laughs> thank you for saving me so I wouldn't have to answer this. But we could have saved that button, okay? Because I'm going to need that on the next question. <laughs> okay. Hold on a second. Audience, I know that this is entertaining to watch. But this is real. Frank wanted to hear the answer to this question. Monica, why did you hit the button? I don't want to hear that answer. I don't think anyone will want to hear that answer. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Oh, we definitely want to hear the answer, okay? Frank said himself that he wanted to hear the answer. <laughs> okay. I have, I have a question to replace that with. Before I do that, my question to you, Lauren, is... Did she just save you or cost you $100,000? Sure, I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. One of the things that you know if you watch the program is that I will replace the question, but I can't guarantee that that question's gonna be any easier. Here's another question that your ex-boyfriend, Frank, will ask in place. <laughs> so, I've given Frank an alternate question. It replaces the one that Monica stopped. If you are truthful, it'll be worth $100,000, and I hope, Warren, that that is a, a gamble that's worth it for you. So, ex-boyfriend Frank, once again, question 15. <clears throat> Do you believe I'm the man you should be married to? Oh. She shouldn't have hit that button, y'all. She should not have hit that button. <laughs> Oh my gosh. This just keeps getting worse. As y'all can see, it's just getting more and more dirty, okay? Well, <laughs> wow. Um, 
um, want to be honest and say yes. <laughs> Is true. Wow. I'm not sure. Oh, man, look at his face, man. That is the look of despair to the 10th degree. Okay. Dang, y'all. Wow. I feel so bad for him. I feel so bad for him. He just feel like, look, that is it, y'all. I could never, I could never. I just would have quit. I just would have quit. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Like, even if, even if you didn't really want to be with him, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't do that there. And then you in front of your whole family, like your whole family, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Say, you've answered 15 questions truthfully. You've won $100,000. Uh, first of all, Frank, is there anything you want to say at this point? No, there's, there's really nothing else I can really hear. So, might as well just go for it. <laughs> uh, Had for you guys real, talked though. about this ex-boyfriend at all? Yeah, earlier on in our marriage, but I mean, I didn't know he was still an issue. Mm. I mean, with an answer like that, I can only uh, assume that you're, you're not happy. Are you unhappy? Sometimes. Sometimes. Warren, what do we do here? This is, uh... What else is there? You know what I mean? Let's go for it. This is a little bigger than the game right now. So you have $100,000. Man. Okay. Now he, like... Go ahead. You want the money? Just go for it. You, it ain't nothing. I, I hell. I, I can't guess at this point. Shoot. You you done said it all. Now like, how much worse could he get? <laughs> Let's see. You leave here with a hundred thousand dollars right now, and you go home with your husband Frank, and you have to now figure out where you two are. I would tell her to go. What else is there to tell me? What what else is there to really tell me? But yeah. Let's see what else there is to really tell him, y'all. <laughs> go for it. Go for it. It's certainly not going to keep you here. If you've had enough, you can... <laughs> I will let you know that the questions I've already asked you, a couple of them, are way over my line. This one's further than that. You probably know what's coming next. So? And you want it anyway. <laughs> Question 16. Okay, so y'all keep in mind, if she don't tell the truth, she loses everything. $100,000 is gone. Nothing. She don't get nothing. Nothing, okay? But, but an empty hand and, and a broken family, okay? And broken heart. Since you've been married, have you ever <laughs> had sexual relations with someone other than your husband? I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! Oh my gosh! Mm. I wish the button was still there. Yeah, You're telling me. Oh wow! I'm gonna have to say yes. That answer is true. Oh! Two more gets you $200,000. But be careful. One mistake, you lose it all. Are you feeling like you should go for it now? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Question 17. Wow. Do you think you're a good person? And then they're gonna come with that question after she just answered the last question. What? <laughs> That's a trick question. That's a trick question. They set her up for that. Honestly, I think I am a good person. So your answer is? Yes. Oh. 
That answer is... Oh God. False. Oh my God. Oh my God. Lauren, I am so, so sorry. Why do you think this came up as a lie for you when I asked you if you think you're a good person? Because even after everything that I have done, stealing the money and everything, I think that I've become a better person. That's why I think I am a good person. Yet it came up as a lie, which means that somewhere in you, you haven't forgiven yourself. And you, mm. Somewhere, your truth is that you don't think you're a good person at all. Why don't you go out and hang out with your family? And I thank you very much, Norm, for being on the show. I wish you the best. My armpits is sweating and everything, y'all. That got me all worked up, okay? Like, y'all, oh my gosh. You know, I think you gotta pick your poison, y'all. Like, people get into situations that they feel like they're obligated against or they do things like out of, out of going against themselves and end up regretting it. And I feel like ultimately you end up putting your, yourself in situations that you regret that give you that guilt. I don't know, just as a married woman, I'm just like, I don't know if I have it in me to just be so forgiving to somebody that just humiliated me on national television like that, even from her family perspective. Cause when they started out, they started out with the family questions, like asking stuff about her. Anyway, y'all gotta watch the whole video, the whole episode, which is gonna be in the, in the link in the description. So make sure y'all check it out if y'all wanna go and see the whole video. But even to say that y'all, I just feel like, you know, there's, there's so many things that you can say about somebody in general before you put yourself into that own situation to know exactly what you would do to know exactly what you would do in a scenario like that. And unfortunately in her case, I feel like, you know, cause you could tell by the way they were acting in terms of like how she answered the question about her honeymoon. Like if you had a good honeymoon, then why is there hesitation behind answering that question? Because even he answered the question like, yeah, it was, you know, it was, yeah, <laughs> it's a great time. You know what I mean? Cause I feel like anybody I've ever asked, you know, if they've been on their little honeymoon and stuff like that, that all they want to come back and do is tell you everything they did, where they was at, what they saw, show you all the pictures. They're excited about it. They got enthusiasm in their stories, like in their voice, like they're uplifted. I felt like she just kind of was a over, like it was just a, whew, why you ask that question? You know what I mean? Like. The energy just completely changed up for her, but you could tell like in this case, I feel like she married him for the wrong reasons. I don't know what his, his financial situation is. I don't know. I know he did say, you know, when I watched the whole episode that he was a cop, he's, he's a police officer. So I don't know to what extent that is or what degree that might be for him. Um, in terms of like his financial stability, which is, you know, irrelevant to some people, but I'm just like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why she would go up there and do it otherwise. Cause otherwise I just feel like if you, if you love your love and you love your husband and you love your family enough, then there is no amount of money that can break that apart or separate it based on the greed of wanting money. Like just because you're answering these questions, but I can only imagine like how how the trip home was with the hubby, how it was with her family, her husband, her mom, her dad, her sister, all of them watching upon her answering these personal questions that she probably would have never admitted to, which is probably, she's like, I guess, you know, like it's out there now. So now you can go home and tell him all the truth, but are y'all gonna still remain together after you come forward with all the information to all the facts? Cause I'm sure he got a lot of questions. I know I will be, I'll be asking a whole bunch of questions, okay? Questions that's gonna be the end of this relationship, probably depending on how you answer it. But more than likely, I'm already checked out. I checked out a long time ago. I know circumstances are different for everybody, but I'm just like in the situation in that moment, in that moment, I don't know how I would have been able to just sit there calmly and keep my composure knowing that my husband or my wife is up there telling stuff like that to the entire world and people are there to judge it. Like, I could never.
I could never. It's not worth it. You know what I'm saying? Your family is everything. Your blood is everything. It's all you got. You know what I mean? Remember that. So y'all tell me what y'all think about this. It was, it was a bit much, I know. So I appreciate y'all for hanging in there. If you still here, give me a big thumbs up in the comment section, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl. And if ain't nobody told you, I love you. And I'm gonna see y'all in the next video, yay!